everybody. This is Gail. Uh, I think I have finished my Christmas tiles. I know some of you will probably be very glad that I did that. Um, I didn't bother showing you any of the others, but this is what I did in green. I have the little... Um, let me come in a little bit and show you these. I have this little charm that looks like a bell, a jingle bell. And this is one of the gingerbread pieces. There's the other two here. And I put some of the nativity pieces in here. And the snowflake. I had a red sparkly candy cane, so I used that. I put the little silver jingle bell and the gold bell here. Uh, I put a Merry Christmas, a sparkly Merry Christmas in that green tile. Some of the silver charms. And uh, that's about all I did with the green. I was trying to lay out a few tiles earlier and I really needed some green. I had lots of gold and silver and red, but I needed some green. But let me show you what I did with some of my how these turned out. This is one of the tiles that I did where I used the uh, the drops, those pearl drops, and they turned out pretty cute. I've also used stickles. I outlined the tree with stickles, but I think that turned out real pretty. Uh, this one is on the green, and I stamped it with a stamp that said Merry and Bright, and it I needed to add something to it, so I used some gold. Um, I believe it was Pearl X. I don't believe it was Perfect Pearls, but I put some gold Pearl X on there. Um, I stamped these two green ones. This one says they followed a star, and that came from my one of my favorite Christmas stamp sets. This is. Um, called All is Bright by Maymay, Maymay Helms, and I think her company's name is Maymay Made It. And she makes these awesome st clear stamps, but this one is my favorite. It's got a real pretty Merry Christmas in here that you can see from the red on there. I've used it to stamp a couple of my Christmas cards. But it's got four different size stars. Here it says they followed a star. Well, actually there's five stars. And then it says, when they saw the star, they rejoiced with great joy. I love that saying. And star of wonder, star of night, star with royal beauty bright. And then, O oh, holy night, the stars are brightly shining, and all is calm, all is bright. So, this is, you know, they're very well-made stamps. I will put a link below uh, to this one, if you know, or any others of hers. She's fantastic and she's another one that you can earn points on her website but anyway so here is that they follow the star and this is all is calm all is bright now on um, they followed a star I put some of the silver no it was the micro pearl or macro pearl something pearl X on here and it didn't really give me the color I wanted so what I ended up doing was taking some silver um, Oh, the pastels, pan pastels. I took a little bit of the silver pan pastel and just rubbed over top of it. And this has a little bit of glitter. And I also added the silver pan pastels on top of that one. Now these are some of the silver ones that I had that I hadn't done anything with. This one says joy and I filled that with the red stickles. This one said Noel, so since I did one in red, I decided to do one in green. And then this is a, I, I like to use these to fill in places, and they were little Christmas lights. I got that off of a rubber stamp that I have, and it's a huge rubber stamp. It's like a whole background stamp. But then I use different color stickles on each of the little lights. They're green, red, gold, and silver. So I thought that turned out cute if I need any filler spaces. This one was also a background stamp that has the holly leaves. So I filled those with... Now actually this was an embossing folder. And this was one side where it went in. 
and I filled those with red and green stickles and then this side this one is where it came out and I covered the green with um, what did I use to cover the green? Inca gold. I used Inca gold on the green leaves and just put a little bit of stickles over top of it with my finger just to add a little sparkle. And I think I showed you this, but I did pull it out to show you anyway. Those are my three stockings and how they turned out on the silver. I think they're real pretty. So I'm ready to start my project. Let me get these off and uh, let me show you how many tiles I've got. These are still stuck because I, this is these I just took out of the oven this morning. And let me put them in my box. This is loose, I know. All of my green ones are still stuck. Well, that one's really stuck. Let me stick a blade under that one. I don't know why it's so stuck. Probably because it's little enough I couldn't get my fingers under it. But I'm ready to start arranging and I went through my stash. I could do a cigar box but that would probably take a long time to do because it's really a cigar box is really involved I know you didn't see how I did that on the one that I did for my daughter-in-law for her breast cancer. But um, there's a lot of work involved just in getting the, the box ready. So I looked in my drawer that's got all kinds of things that I have. And this is a recollections, let's see, I've got the paper. It's a Recollections uh, Necessities clip, uh, chipboard, and it's, an, it's a picture frame, and it'll hold a 4 by 6 picture, and I've got a little bit of glitter on it, but I thought this would be a good thing to use, and because of the way this is made, I can do it this way, so that means that it would be... Let me, it would be this way on the table so you know it'll set up but I think this will make a real pretty base now what I'm going to do is I'm going to gesso this first because it is chipboard um, I don't want to put paint directly on it but I'm going to cover all of this I'll probably take these little pieces off I don't think I can take this off but I'll take these pieces off and I'll put gesso all over it and then I'm going to paint it either gold or silver. I'm not sure. I'll just have to look at my paints and see what I've got that I think is the prettiest. But let me show you all my tiles. This is my little book box that I've had forever and I didn't know what I'd use it for. And it was here and I decided to fill it with tiles. But look at all my tiles. And these are just my Christmas tiles. I have so many tiles and I have a lot of red tiles because I did two sheets of red clay before I realized it was probably going to make too much. But a lot of these red ones are big and I don't think I'll use too many of the big tiles uh, just because this space here really isn't that big but we'll see how it goes. And then I wanted to show you these are tiles that are left over from the uh, thing that I did for my daughter-in-law and this one is a is a little heart charm these are the the ribbon charm uh, ribbon tiles but I've got lots of words I've got this another one of these which was a favorite but I don't think this is really Christmas I've got some other things in here but I've got little words. I've got some little filler tiles if I need those. Uh, I've got faith. There's another faith and that's green so it's possible I can use that. 
But I, I brought these out just so I could have, there's Wish, it's always Christmas Wish, but in case I need any smaller tiles, and then I have these also that I also made, and I've just been holding on to, and these are some word, you know, from a word stamp, and I just, this is in uh, black clay, and then I covered it with copper pearl X. This one is, is a red Pearl X on here. But I have lots of other little tiles in here. And I just, see here's a real skinny one. Because you never know when you're going to need a skinny piece. And that's black and silver. And I've got, also I've got some gold leaf and silver leaf tiles that are in another, um, another thing up here. I call them grout tiles. I've got all kinds of things up here. I just got more tiles than you can imagine, but I'm going to go off camera and I'm going to paint this frame and then we'll come back and we'll get started attaching all of our tiles. Be back soon. Okay, I'm back and I've painted my frame. Uh, it's a metallic gold. It's not a real shiny, shiny gold, but it's a real pretty satin finished gold and this is the paint that I used um, I believe I I don't remember where I got this I may have gotten it on Amazon it was a set of four um, metallic paints it was silver gold copper and bronze I believe and I used the copper on my daughter-in-law's box. If you saw that, that was the copper. And actually, I've got... No, that's copper clay. I was going to say I have the copper paint, but I don't. But uh, it came in a set, and I really like this. It's a very thick, heavy-bodied paint, so it covers really well. It's really not necessary that the surface that you're going to cover is very... Um, it's well covered, but you, I mean, there's a certain few places where you can still see the thing, the uh, surface through. But you want it to be so that if there's any spaces between your tiles, or if there's space here, you know, you want this part to be painted really well, you, you know, and around the edges, because that's what's going to show. And of course, you want your edges here to be painted well. And of course, the back. But that's, uh, that's not that big a deal. But anyway, I thought I would show you my process on how I lay out my things. I, I would like to put this tile on, and I just kind of find a place. Now, when you're looking at the next tile, you want to look... You don't want anything next to this to be sil on silver clay, of course. So let's try to find something uh, that's a little big, I think. Here's some something that's gold. I could do a... Actually, I could do this. Try to find an area to start. And I, I like to start like maybe here in the corner. And I, because these two are not real even, I may leave a little space or put something else between it. Um, let me see what I can find in the reds that I would like to put close by. And this, again, is kind of a big, a big tile. And what you'll find will happen is you'll start off and you'll be able to match all of your big tiles. And then over on the other side where you end up, you usually end up putting smaller tiles over there. So I'm going to try to use some of these smaller tiles over here. But you see the width of that. I need to find something that's the width of that. And I have this little angel that almost fits. I'll leave it there and just see what happens because there are things you can do in these little spaces and I will show you that 
uh, later. Let me see, this would go in there, but it's a little bit thin. But it's just a trial and error type thing. You know, you just start putting tiles out and see what you like. Uh, that's an angel up there, so I don't want to put that too close to the angel. Now this is an angel, but it's a different kind of angel. And actually, that would fit right there. Let me move this down. And you'll just, you'll move things around probably a hundred times. I don't think it's going to be wide enough. Let me find something else that will fit into that space a little better. Maybe the little gingerbread man? That fits in there pretty good. And this little angel, if I move it over to the edge, it's going to leave a little bit of space here. But we might be able to work with that space. So let me go somewhere else now. Let me see. I really like that tree. I, I, I know I've said this before on my videos, but I love Christmas trees. I need to fi start finding some reds. And there's a red angel. So I may swap, swap that out with the silver, but we'll see how I do with the reds. It says Holiday Blessings. That's red on the bottom, even though it looks gold on top. And I, I actually would like to have a Merry Christmas there. Maybe like that. And you, you'll, like I said, you will find that you will move things around a million times before you get everything where you want it. And that's part of the fun. Let's put a wise man there. So let's find something else that is red. This is kind of big. I don't know. I'll keep that out just to look at it. And you, you know, this is, it's all a personal preference. You will find things that you like. Let's put some words on there. Um, let's see how merry and bright would fit over here. Maybe it would fit in here. Well, it's, it would be next to that, but it is highlighted gold. And then I can put... Um, let me put one of my charms there. And let's say you just play with it, you move things around. And I don't want everything to be serious. That's why I like the little gingerbread men and the little whimsical angels. And there's a mitten. I need a green. Where do I need a green? 
that's a little bit too long for there, but I could put it there. And I don't know. I'll just keep playing. But this is part of the fun, I think, in doing a mosaic, is figuring out where everything is going to go. And I have a snowflake. And you, and you just play. You just continue playing until you get it exactly the way you want it. And... <laughs> You will probably move things a hundred times. See, that fits there, but it's right next to that charm. So let me move this over here and put the angel in between. That kind of breaks up the two silver charms, but that fits really good there. Can't leave out the baby. Let's put him like right there. I don't think I should do another Merry Christmas since there's already one on there. Um, let me put some charms over here. There's a green, another green snowflake. probably have enough charms, enough things here. I probably ought to put Mary on here. If I can find a good place for her. I'm going to leave her out in case I find a place to put her. And there's another wise man, but I don't know. Oh, here's a gift. That's what we need. We need a gift. And where can I put this? I could slide that over a little bit and put it in there. But like I said, this is the fun part. Now there's that same little Christmas light thing, but I didn't put any stickles on that one. I might, because that would fit up here. Where's the one with the stickles? Here it is. Let me put this up here. And then I need a log. See what I mean about needing different size um, tiles? Now I need something that's long and narrow and a color other than silver. Here's a little lamb. I don't know that that's a good place for him, but I'll keep him aside. Here's a silver lamb. Do I have a lamb on here? I don't believe so. I don't know if I want that so close to the... to the silver long piece. Let me see, what does this say? Trim the tree. 
actually that will fit right in there. But you know, you just I don't if you don't want to sit here and watch me do this, I understand. Oh, I need that red there. I really like these. Oh, I've got a stocking. So I won't put another one of those on there. Here's a donkey. We gotta have the the donkey that Mary and Joseph rode to Bethlehem. Let's see, I could put something kind of large down there. Let me see what I've got that's not too awful big. Lots of happy holidays, and I'm, I just can't do the holidays thing. I'm, I will use them if I have to. Yeah, I think I'm going to keep this silver angel, so let me put him, him, her. I don't think angels have a gender. I haven't put any of my picture tiles on here. Let me see what I've got. There's a poinsettia. I could put that on here. That's too big. That's too big. How about that? That might work. Still need to find a place for this Noel. I really like the Noel. But I don't want it on a corner. I don't know. Move these up. And like I said, I totally understand if this is too boring for some people. You know, not everybody wants to take the time to sit. And you probably, I know when I want, this is something that Sarah Hayes, uh, that Sarah does at, at My Serenity Craft. She, <laughs> sometimes I want to say something to her and I feel like we're sitting there together and yet I can't say, you know, can't get her to hear me. I don't understand. And she would laugh if she heard me say that. Here's a little bitty one. I bet you that would fit right in there, even though it's silver. And here's a star. I need to put a star in here. I could put the star right there in the middle, couldn't I? Although it's not really the middle. think about that one but you just like I said you pray you place things you move things 
just do the only thing you've got to do is to make sure that you have tiles that come all the way to the edge on the outside and on the inside because otherwise it won't you I mean there's no way you can fill in I'm sorry I just get to moving things and forget my train of thought but you won't be able to um, put things where you want them you know or fill in with you know you can use microbeads you can use a rhinestone chain all kind there's all kinds of things you can do and I'll show you that and what I'll probably do is do a, another video I'll divide this into two videos and I really could use a green there but then I can't use this here but I could use it underneath if I move the tree down. I'll probably do this I'll just you know, I'll do this for a while and then I'll go off camera and finish placing everything and then come back and show you how I glue the tiles down. So this will be like part one and part two will be gluing them down and adding the little fun finishes. I really need to put a bell in here, don't I? Charm, 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 charm. I don't have a charm over here. But I don't see one I can take out to put this in. And I don't like the yellow next to the yellow or the charm next to the charm. I mean, not yellow. Silver. But I'll just keep fiddling and trying to find places to put things. And I don't really need any more green. But I do like this. They followed a star. Now I ought to put it close to the star. What happened to my star? I moved it, didn't I? I wonder if I take this out, if that would fit in there. I think it will. Even though it's green, it's got the pearl cover on it, or the coating. Now you see this is a little bit not quite squared up. One thing about polymer clay that's so awesome is you can cut it with scissors. And I'm just going to square this up a little bit by trimming this side. But you're not going to see the edge anyway. And it fits in there much better. I probably trimmed it too much the other way. But I'll, I'll fix that. Don't worry about it. But I will keep playing and see what I can come up with. And I will be back, like I said, with part two. After I decide where to put everything, I will come back with part two. And I will show you how to finish it. But I've just about filled in here. But... You know, I'm at a point now where I'm going to start taking things out and putting other things in. I probably ought to take this out because I've already got pretty, you know, a lot of charms over there and put a gingerbread. I think that looks better. So 
See what I mean about moving things around? These things will be in a hundred different positions before I'm happy with where it is. I don't want two gifts there together. Let me put this down here. That's not going to be, it's not going to fit. It's just, well, it, it just barely fits. But you see, I have this little play area in here, and I may have to go to my other little stash to come up with something small enough that will fit in there in my other little boxes that I have. Anyway, I'm going to continue doing this and, well, that's, don't want that to be glued that way, do I? But I, when I get to the point that I'm ready to start gluing, I will come back and we will start gluing and then we will go from there as far as what else we do. So I hope you enjoyed part one. Uh, it may be a little while. I'm uh, tomorrow I get my hair cut, and I wasn't going to mention this, but I did have a fall today. I My Sunday school class does um, donates food every other month to the local food, uh, food pantry, and I'm the treasurer of my Sunday school class. So I went to Sam's today and got all of the canned goods, the soups and things that we donate, and took them to the church. And where we put our, um, our things is, it's beside the elevator upstairs in a play, you know, uh, on the second floor. And... I came, I had the cart, and I came out of the elevator, and I looked into the fellowship hall, and I saw the janitor in there um, mopping the floor, and I just went on and put my, um, my canned goods in the, in the basket. I, I, actually, I took the basket out to my car, because I had, a, a, like, over a hundred cans, and, um, turned around to leave, and it was just, I mean, right outside the elevator. And I didn't know that the janitor had scrubbed the floor in there before he went into the fellowship hall, and my foot hit the wet floor, and I went up, my one foot went up in the air, and I know you can't see, but I've got bruises and bumps here. I've got a place about three times bigger than this on my other on my left leg, my chin hit the um, handle of the grocery cart where I put the canned goods. So that's the swelling is not that's not swollen and it doesn't appear bruised yet, but it it's very sore to touch. Plus, I'm just ge getting generally sore all over. So it's going to be a chore getting out tomorrow, getting my hair done, but um, it'll all get done, it'll all work out, I, the only reason I mentioned it is because it, you know, I, I'm not moving quite as fast as I should have, or I usually do, so things might slow down a little bit, but I will survive, and I will t see everybody later uh, on part two of this video, and then we can get this thing finished. Thanks. Bye-bye.